Welcome back. This is part 46 of Josh CCLP4. We're going to get started on Ravaged, which is a burned up version of Sapphire Cavern. Or, as it was originally named, uh, the Gold Mine. And I believe that filling that space in is actually a cook, so I'm going to restart. So I have played this level before. I caught a lot of Link's busts in the level. Uh, because originally all those gliders were walkers. And you could break the level pretty badly because of that. Right, right, okay, you go up here, and then you can push the, yeah, block into that. So yeah, I really, really like this level, not just because of its concept, but because it is actually a really, really, like, it's a really fun level. There's some really cool interactions here. So yeah, it's been a few days since I last recorded. Um, it's been a pretty busy weekend, and honestly... Uh, I just hadn't had the time, and I sort of don't have the time now, and apparently I'll need the fire boots to progress. Yeah, I sort of don't have the time now, but I sort of do, and I want to keep the daily pace. And at this point, I'm uh, going to go on a trip to uh, Disney and Universal soon, so it is kind of a now or never thing for recording. So I'll need the fire boots in the start, and it looks like I need... Um, three blue keys to get there. But I, I'm pretty sure I only have two. So, now I have three. See, that's the... So, the most recent um, not CCLP4 video, Josh kind of responded to my comments about him hiding stuff under blocks. And that that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like the, uh, he said that uh, you'll you, it's a block you have to move anyway. You don't have to move that block. In fact, uh, given the aesthetic, I thought there was fire under it so at first, and I, the only reason I pushed it is because I know Josh does put things under blocks, uh, and so that's really the kind of thing I've like. That's the kind of thing that I think bugs me the most, because it's not that you'll pick up the item anyway. Uh, it's that you don't even know that the item exists. The only reason I knew that existed is I knew I needed another blue key. That was the only possible place for one. And there's another hint saying I'll need the fire boots to progress. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be going up this way. probably going to be something under that block. Convenient. No? Oh, a toggle button. Which in turn lets me head over this way. So yeah, like, this this is sort of using existing walls, but not really. And it's just, it's, this level's great. I really like playing it, even with the hidden object that I'm not really a fan of. But, you know, that's just my design style versus Josh's design style. They are quite different in a lot of ways. Uh, and that's really good, because uh, Chip's Talent has so much depth to it that it allows that to be the case. And it occurs to me I... Okay, I thought I might have needed to bridge to the left, and I would have to commit to a side. But no, it's just bridging, um, bridging up. But yeah, you used to be able to bust this level pretty badly with uh, taking blue locks away from walkers and links. And honestly, that was kind of cool. I, I know why it was removed, but part of me still wishes it wasn't. Just because those, those kinds of busts are pretty cool and can add to the level. I But it does skip large chunks, so I definitely understand why Josh would fix it. I think I would have fixed it if it was my level as well. So I can't really fault that for being fixed. But I will say I had a lot of fun finding those in the first place. They wouldn't have been so fun to do with uh, tick precise movements and stuff. So I've got four keys. But, you know, it was fun to, f it was fun to theorize. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm five blue keys. 
spend two to keep my fire boots, and then we come over there, and three to reach the exit. So that is ravaged. I, even though it sounded like I was complaining or nitpicking, I do really like that level, and my score just topped 22 million. So we're going to move on to Overcoming Salvation, which I don't think had has too much going on with it. Yeah, it looks like a pretty straightforward level. Where you just go around, get chips, and... I'm assuming the teleport doesn't lead anywhere until I have all the chips. And there's no way to reach an exit until after. <laughs> so you could do some cool optimization stuff with that teleport, though. Oh, hey, flippers. So with the flippers, work. what can I do now that I have flippers? I think I saw fire boots up this way. That I did. So I think at this point, I just loop around the level. And just get new boots, and then I'll salt. And then I get to the exit, which I saw was guarded by um, ice. So yeah, this is an interesting level. In the sense that... It's not uninteresting, but it doesn't really have a lot going for it. It doesn't have anything going against it. It's a very safe level, which it, it's kind of a little underwhelming considering what it's surrounded by, but at the same time, uh, it just makes the surrounding level stand out that much more. So I, I understand the purpose of this, and that was fun to play. So, old fashioned. So, this is another one of those maze levels. Uh, it's a very straightforward le maze level. Not really anything to it other than it's a maze. I'm pretty sure there are extra chips in here that you- In fact, I know there are extra chips in here that you can never obtain. And apparently there are loops in the level, too. So this is going to be a pretty tricky maze to work out. So yeah, there's not too much to talk about during a maze in terms of the gameplay, and I didn't take the time to prepare any other topics or anything, because that takes effort and I just wanted to play the levels. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but I just wanted to play the levels. Um, so yeah, past couple days were, I guess I'll just talk about how my past couple days were. Uh, they were actually pretty busy between, um, oh, what, what was going on? It's like, I had my, uh, college graduation ceremony. Yes, I officially have my, uh, diploma and stuff now, so that's pretty cool. And that was my Saturday. And then Sunday I had other stuff going on, and then Monday I thought was going to have stuff going on. With, uh, visiting relatives. Uh, specifically one of my uncles just had a, uh, got a new kid, so I obviously want to go see them, just say hi, but they just weren't feeling up to it. So, uh, <laughs> instead, what I spent my yesterday doing was I just mostly played games, relaxed, read stuff, caught up on the, uh, various CCLPs that happened while I was uh, not really able to have the time to watch them. Uh, I'm still behind on both CCLP3 and not CCLP4 by a little bit. I have both of the yeah most recent parts at the time of this recording paused. I will get to them soon. Like, legitimately soon. Probably when I'm done with this uh, recording session. Which, during this recording session, I'm hoping to actually finish the set. Because if I don't, I won't really have the time to finish the recording the set. For another week and a half or so. It's convenient that I got the last chip right near the exit. So that is old-fashioned. That is a good maze. So, Grim is not a level I was looking forward to playing. It's a cool concept, but it's not that enjoyable to play. So 
So I have seen this level in the editor, and that's why I know I'm not going to enjoy it very much. It is well designed, but this is pretty much all it comes down to. You have to keep that teeth alive to reach the exit. Um, can I do anything fancy with this lock? Not really. So I'm going to go... So I've got the green key. I've got the thing in the bottom right. Now I'm going to take the teeth all the way up to the top right. Um... And then we'll get the last tip that's up in the top left. And then do the uh, same trick we just pulled. So there's a couple different options for how to go for how to go about reaching the end. I'm gonna do it this way. Um, and of course, you need the teeth in that column, because you cannot get the uh, bomb above the exit to be blown up. So that's grim on the first try. It's weaving through the center is a little stressful, and going along the edges is a little tedious. It's a neat concept. I do like the concept. So on to volcanic substance, which is a level I really, uh, really like the idea of. Like I've seen it. I think I know how it works. And I've been looking forward to playing it for a while. So what we have here is a little Sokoban puzzle. And this one is another one that's heavily rooted in figuring out the shuffle. Um... I feel like I'm already screwed. I thought I had it figured out, but apparently not. Because I need this lower loop to do very much. Yeah, I think that's a cooked state, so let's try again. I do appreciate that the tricky little puzzle is near the beginning. Um. I've definitely seen some levels put a difficult uh, shuffling puzzle near the end. I've fallen victim to that a couple times. Uh, notably, I think, Solitary Refinement. Granted, the puzzle there isn't that difficult. It only takes a few pushes. And in that case, I kind of like that I placed it late, because it, when you do figure it out, it's like you feel like you just outsmarted the creator who's trying to screw you over at the end. At least that's how I feel when something like that happens. Anyway, um, I mean, yeah, I can put that there, but I don't think that does me any good, and I think I'm screwed again. Yeah, how do you do that little room? I'm sure it's not actually that difficult, and I'm just missing something really obvious. Okay, so let's think this through. I have two pushes that are functionally equivalent. Um, one of them can be undone, the other cannot. That's the one that can be undone. I think that's what I was missing. Because this is a new state that I haven't seen before. And... I have absolutely no idea what good that does me. Okay. 
Okay, what I think I need to set up here is a block here, and a block here, and a block here. I think that's what the goal of this little puzzle is. So let's go back to the start so we can work on setting that up. So yeah, this, this puzzle is pretty tricky for where it is. I know Josh adapts most of Ahsoka Band, so kudos to whoever designed that, even though they're probably never going to hear that. <laughs> um, wait a moment. No, you can never get a block here and here at the same time. What? What in the world is this puzzle? Okay. So it's this one in the corner that's throwing me off. Because the only way, like, yeah, the only arrangement I think I can see Huh? Wait a moment. It's like, okay, so if I, like, if I get the block here, I'm thinking then this one comes around to there, and then you go push, 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 and then you have the blocks here, here, and here. That one goes down, that one goes down, then that, that'll be it, that'll be it, okay. So how did I get to that? How did I get to that idea? Like so. Down, down, okay. Now that I know the uh, important state, if I do screw up later, it should be pretty easy to solve that again. Okay, let's do the teleport. <laughs> so we'll be partial posting later. And by later, I mean very, very soon. So I would say it can push a block onto the toggle button, but that needs to be the tank. Now what worries me is this fire up here. I don't know the I do not know the purpose of that. It looks like it's a place I'll be going later. So I want to try and leave like leave a path up. But I don't actually see a way to do that. Oh, well, it actually doesn't matter. I'll be able to do so later anyway. Alright, moving on to the next area. So after the previous little circle, man, this one is not at all an issue. It's just a couple loops. The aesthetic of the fireballs there is really nice, though. Little outrunning section. Alright, so we seem to be most of the way around the level. I'd assume that means I'm mostly done. So you'll get trapped if you're not quick enough here. Pretty lenient section. You in MS I'm sure you could like you could ram the block in place somewhere, but I'm not even gonna bother trying that. Like, I'm not even gonna try to demonstrate that. It's not worth the risk. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a little lock block section. Um, oh, here's... The... What was back at the start? Rather than going back, I'm going to check the editor because it'll be a little faster too. Okay, it was water guarding the exit, not a block like I originally thought. So I'm just going to follow the intended progression here rather than try to break the level. Because I remember what happened with uh, Torture Chamber Deluxe, and it kind of screwed me over. <laughs> okay, so what will be under that block? Will this be the fire boots, finally? It will! So now I get to loop all the way back to the start. And get three red keys. Uh... 
Oh, this is going to be cool. This is going to be really cool. So we've got the three red keys. And you might think you want to use them on the uh, first locks you find. But that that would be a naive approach. No, I because it takes the it takes all three of these to get into that upper right room. And I, I know exactly what's going to happen here. Drop it on that trap. There's going to be a red key. And then the rooms at the corners are set up just so, so that you can do this. And bring the block around. Repeat with the next trap. And the next corner. And then the final trap in the final corner. And that that's a really cool concept. Wait, where does that trap button where does that trap button lead? I in there. Cause remember there was that other trap post for post fire boots. And we did hit a toggle button. So that is volcanic substance. That is a really, really fun level. So let's move on to Aesthetic Junkyard, which, interestingly enough, I thought was unsolvable the first time I saw it. But that's because I didn't realize that there were locks hidden under blocks. So it's like, we get the blue key, we go back, and now we don't have a blue key, so we can nail across here. So as you can see, there's a yellow lock there. It's good, because you pick up a yellow key there and need to get rid of it. So, this is a neat level. And I believe there's a hint hidden under one of these blocks back here. I think it's this one. It's like, thank you for finding me. But reading it cooks the level, so I'm not going to do that. Except I just cooked the level anyway. Go me. So yeah, it's a pretty simple level, all things considered. Wait, did I? Um, is that is that solvable in links? I mean, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go and we're going to add a new window capture to my recording. As you can see, I now have it set up in links as well. Now this is running out of the editor. So I'm actually curious. Um, so cool little thing you can do. You can only slop it off of that uh, if you do not have the corresponding key. Or sorry, if you do, and it does not expend the key. So that's a pretty neat little interaction that is just really strange. Okay, so you come up here. You have no options until this point. Cause I feel like my solution wasn't the real solution. And it wasn't. That's the real solution. And getting the hint doesn't cook the level like thank you for finding me so there we go that's how you do aesthetic junkyard and links okay so i it actually is solvable and i was just crazy and so i don't know if you're gonna want to fix that josh but you can uh there's a much quicker route in uh, ms i don't know if that's worth fixing or if it's worth leaving in let's move on to exotic nonsense 
which is going to have a lot of waiting. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I can make two of these. I can make it across two of these. I wasn't sure quite how long the fireball stream was, but eh. So I like the green locks in the middle. I don't know if that's actually something that gets used. Especially because it's completely unavailable now, but there could easily be a teleport that I just couldn't see. So the cool part is now I get to run with the fireball, so no more waiting for me. I'm not a patient person, as I've said before. There are the fireballs. Oh, I guess I do have to wait a little more. And... Alright, now I just need... I think the socket was on the left side. This is a very strange level. Okay, knowing Josh, it's probably in either the top right or the bottom right. Just because we emerged on the left. Let's teleport. Yep, and that is exotic nonsense complete. Moving on to Jagged Canyon, which will probably be the last uh, level of the video. Looks like it's a pink ball in trap release to correct bomb style level. The one thing I'm not a, I'm not really a fan of with this idea is that you can't see which direction the ball is facing. Um, but even that's kind of minor. Because I've so far I've been able to tell what direction everything's facing. Uh, here I'm gonna assume if it's facing right. Yeah, uh, it'd be nicer if the balls had a tile set that wasn't 100% um, the same in every direction, but uh, that's just that's just how they are. So that's not really a complaint about the design. Uh, so much as it would be better if this thing that was true isn't true. Oh, that is legit. That is so legit. Make all the blocks uh, hot blocks, and then... Oh, wait, no, we can actually use those. That is such a cool section. I want more sections like that in levels. Okay, final area, I think. There's not much level left. Um, one, two, three. I can get three of the chips currently. I have, I have six blocks, and I cannot really see where I want where I want to go with them. Um, now up there. I don't know what that trap button's linked to. I see I get an extra block after all the chips. So given the toggle wall, I assume I don't want to tr screw any blocks over. Oh my, this is something. Something else. I made the right call with not screwing blocks over here, but this is where not being able to tell what direction any of the monsters are facing kind of hurts. So what direction are any of, like, what's this trap button hooked up to? I'm going to assume it's hooked up to the one on the right and it's facing down, because that will allow me to turn blocks up later. Yeah, this will give me the rest of the uh, chips, but I am still at a bit of a loss as to what I'm supposed to do with this ending. Um, 
I'm gonna need to push the toggle button again in order to get that chip. Not a big deal. Okay, so what do we have? We have three chips that don't do anything. We have a block, we have a socket down here, and we have another block. And we have a trap button. But wait, 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 wait. One, two. What? Um. Something tells me I'm breaking the level somewhat by doing this. But you totally don't even need that trap button. And that trap button, according to the editor, was hooked up to the trap, the ball that's lined up. I think the ball was intended for the bomb behind the socket, but it's not needed. So that's a little strange. So we will move on to Gone to Lunch in the next video, which I'm going to start recording in like a minute or so. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, see you then, except you're not going to see me at all because, ooh, I don't use a camera, ooh. Intros and outros are hard.